Kanye West, Aaliyah Janelle, and Knox Fortune all have one strange thing in common, and you'll probably never guess it. Kanye West is pretty famous, and you probably already know him, so I'll skip the introduction, but I will give you one hint. It's related to his recent Donda album release. Aaliyah Janelle is a dancer, choreographer, owner of the Queens and Lettos Dance Empire, and just all around top tier baddie. She's worked with Jennifer Lopez, Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj, Tank, and so many more. And lastly, Knox Fortune is an alternative indie singer and record producer who's collaborated with Joey Perp, Vic Mensa, Chance the Rapper, you get the picture. So, any guesses? Okay, I'll give you three seconds to guess. Three, eh, wrong. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, you're probably wrong. So the thing is, the very strange thing that they all have in common is that I was dancing for them all last weekend or two weekends ago or I don't know, time's all a blur, but I was shaking my little tail feather for all of them. I was in the Donda release. I danced with four by Olya Janelle and then also Knox Fortune. So I will get into each of those little things and... But before I get into all of that, you're probably like, okay, that's cool, but who are you? I'm Brittany Edwards and this channel is a box of chocolates. It's also a lot about me sharing my authentic self with you, which is why I'm telling you I'm a little sick right now. Okay, but anyways, I'm also telling you that I, um, you know, I did my little ting tings for these human beings. The first question that I always get in my FAQ is, how exactly did that happen? Like, how did you get here? Like, how did you little, little, what? So, what happened was, I am signed up, registered for a couple, I think literally two, <laughs> um, casting agencies here so i do like you know a little bit of background work being in movies or shows or whatever that they're filming so they literally just sent me an availability request and was like hey kanye west listening event are you free and i was like yes i am free and then they were like okay well okay we're booking you the reason I didn't do it because it's not immediate <laughs> it takes a little bit of time and I honestly didn't think I was going to get it because usually showbiz like everything is a really really quick turnaround and when I saw the message I was actually like at the beach the following day and I was like man they sent this yesterday and I didn't see it so I didn't actually think I was going to get it and then like while I was at the beach in within like an hour or two they booked me and I was like When I arrived, there were about 200 of us um, from my first day. It was like a two-day process. Two days and then the show day. And it was just so like dope being in that environment again. Like all these people that are all, you know, like dancers and just that hype energy. But it was so intimidating when we first got there because we all, there was like, 50 people that were there the day before us that were kind of like, you know, the human testers and They were like, okay, everybody that's new today sit in the middle and watch a circle They're gonna do it one time and then you have to repeat everything and I was like What like it sounded super scary, but the um, actions the choreography wasn't very like intensive so it was a lot less scary than it sounded but I was just like Wait, what? Like, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? It was just also really funny, like, seeing some um, reviews of people trying to, like, figure out the meaning of what we're doing because <laughs> we were down there waiting for two hours because, if you know, the show started late. And while we were down there, they were like, hey, so the entire order that we practice to is all just gonna be we're getting surprised so just do all of the moves in the same exact order no matter what the song is being on the inside like it was really really easy for me to see 
the story coming to life and like you know how our actions are connected to these songs and like the story that is portraying and I'm not gonna say it because um, my theories were actually confirmed by the choreographers so I don't know how this NDA works but I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna just night so we got to keep the costumes except for the diamond vest which is you know really sucks but I mean am I really gonna be casually wearing the vest around probably not but I do really love how empowered I feel like wearing those pants like nobody could come up to me and say anything because I just look like I could fight which I can't fight but we don't need to do that because violence is not the answer anyways we're getting really distracted Back to Kanye West. Because of my involvement with Donda, I feel like I have a little bit of a, a bias in terms of like my connection to the album. But I am convinced that anyone that loves Drake's new album has COVID because you have no sense of taste. And I know that those are fighting words, but they have to be said. I am so sorry. I love Drake. I do. But I think that my heart is big enough for Drake and Kanye's albums, but Drake just really needs to sit this one out. I'm so sorry for you if you like it. Anyways, <laughs> top five songs. Well, I can't say top five because that's like I haven't fully, you know, come to terms with what they are. But I absolutely love Praise God. That is my number one song from Donda. I would love to know your favorite songs and if you actually do like the Drake album would love to know your favorites as well because I honestly I try I could not get through the fourth song like I tried going through the album I tried listening to other songs towards the end it just none of them hit for me what else did I have to say about Kanye West I don't remember what else I had to say Eek. I keep wanting to call this man's Fort Knox Knox Fortune. My story with Knox Fortune starts on a nice fall. Is it fall yet? Anyways, it starts with a nice little girls' night. Elise, Rachel, Angela, Meredith, and I all went to Avli to have some delicious Greek food. Because I'm not going to be disrespectful and skip over the food, the zucchini chips are heaven sent, must get and the bob ganoush was delicious we just had like you know pita spread this feta and watermelon summer salad thing i don't know it was delicious is all i'm saying once the sun set elise takes the stage with a question she says hey you know that song that's like I do na, I do na, I do na, na, eh, eh. right so the person that does the little high part of that song is Knox fortune and she Explain to us that Knox Fortune is her first cousin's cousin through adoption or something like that. So she met Knox Fortune at a family barbecue like a couple summers ago or something like that. It was just, I wish I could like replay it in the way that it came but it was like my cousin's cousin through adoption once removed is not fortunate so um she was like yeah he's doing this con um, dj playing music <laughs> at um the virgin hotel brandon loves the virgin hotel so i was like boop, 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 beep, boop. hey guess what um blah, blah 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 her cousin's cousin is adopted through Knox Fortune I don't know something like that and hey you want to come it ended up just being Elise and Tyler and Brandon and me that went but it was pretty cool pretty fun oh my gosh you're right and when we were there I was just you know sitting and uh, blah, blah blah and I see this person I'm like Harper and it was the girl that I met at a beach day like one week before and it was just so crazy because I've literally met this person one time in my life and then to see them the next weekend and apparently her friend from high school is Knox Fortune's girlfriend so it was just like this really weird like connections to be all with him. So anyways, um, Elise saw him and was like, hey Kev, that's his government name, Kevin. And then introduced and then we were all there and... That is how I was dancing for Knox Fortune.
oh right i also forgot that minor detail so like right before right when the uber got there honestly it was probably like 10 seconds before the uber arrived guess who decided to show up a nosebleed it actually was really helpful that we have to wear masks because i just like <laughs> had the napkin and then put the mask over the napkin so i didn't have to hold anything it was pretty ingen ingenuitive and yeah, at this point you're probably wondering like why didn't I go home? Like why did I still go out when I had a nosebleed? But I just felt bad like we already, the Uber was there and I was just like, ah, the show must go on. And so it did go on and it was a good time. And then on a Sunday, dearest Ali Janelle was in town and I humbled myself by going to a beginner class lesson. I am a little rusty, it's been a minute, okay? And I haven't done any extreme, you know, physical labor since the beginning of last two years, you know what I mean? I'm saying. I was like, you know what, let me just go to beginner class. It's been a while since I've danced any type of extreme labor except for, you know, the Kanye thing that happened. Did not. No, did not plan, did not blah, blah, blah. It ended up being a very dancey weekend. Anyway, it was also my first time dancing in heels, so I really was not trying to show out or anything like that. And it was nice, humble, little, little dance, a little one, two, blah, blah, blah. Then choreography was not intensive or anything like that. It was really just to be dancing in the same room as Aaliyah Janelle, honestly. And okay, so if you know Aaliyah Janelle, then you probably know Ari, Ari on Davenport. And it's so crazy because she and I were actually on the same competition dance team like way back in the day, like the scary days back when I had DIY side bangs with my mom's office scissors, back when we were wearing curly hair with a straight bang, back when I was on Uvu a little bit too much, like that, <laughs> that time, that's when we were on the same dance team. It was so crazy the first time I saw her in an Aaliyah Janelle video, cause I was like, wait a second, hey you're, I know we did, what? Um, so yeah, that was cool. Oh my gosh, and can we talk about the view? Like she really showed out for this class. There was no reason why things needed to be that aesthetically pleasing. Like it was noise. It was real, real noise. Okay, um. If you like it, then you really should subscribe to what? Nah, 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 nah